Hey, Star Wars fans, action figure collectors. We've got another newbie straight out of the package today. Well, it's not even out of the package yet. It's still carded. Uh, Cad Bane from the Book of Boba Fett vintage collection. This one is an absolute ripper. I've been looking forward to this one. I think most people have. It's a, it's a nice one to finally see. Um, awesome card. Love that picture of Cad there. Here's number VC283. So we have there on the back the four repacked Jabba's goons the repacked nine numb which I'll be passing on Boba Fett Tuscan which I'll be reviewing next Moff Jared I still haven't picked up yet but will in due course yeah nice looking figure and a nice looking card it looks really really cool nice to see Cad Bane and an animated character another awesome animated character come to life in live action. It's been some great, great crossovers over the last few years. Bo-Katan, who's also seen vintage, vintage collection. So yeah, there's off the card there. Get a bubble out of the way. These two blasters in the side, in the bottom. All right, here, here he is, Cad Bane, in all his blue glory. <laughs> he looks fantastic, really nice. I do have the uh, Black Series counterpart, the one that came with Cobb Vanth. It was really nice. So, yeah, basically, accessory-wise, comes with his blasters. I assume they will fit nicely in his holster there. This is just one of his scaled-down version of the Black Series, very similar. Probably very some slight differences in detail and tooling and all that kind of thing, but overall pretty nice. So yeah, the blaster does fit nicely in the holster. There is another one there on that side. It's softer plastic for the blasters, so not the, not the easiest to manipulate and play around with. They're a little bit soft, but not a not a big problem. And it still fits in there nicely. You've got his hat, which is also removable. Nice look at his head sculpt there, looks good. With the sort of snarling teeth. Now I like that they've chosen to use a slightly darker blue for the skin. Um, it was most people's sort of slight criticism, if anything, was the uh, skin was a little bit too light, but I just, I put it to the fact that he's out in the middle of a planet with two suns. So it appeared to look a little bit brighter than it normally would. It's sort of a little bit more of a richer blue. Yeah, nice detailing on this one. I like the, uh, the duster coat. I reckon that looks great. This little life support system pegs off the back there. So you could essentially, if you wanted to, you could replace this duster coat with one of the animated ones just to, just to change it up a little bit if you wanted to. Or you could just leave it in there like that. I think that looks pretty good. It's the only sort of thing that he's not rocking in the uh, live action is his jetpacks. His little rocket boots. But, you know, it definitely looks like, a, like an alien cowboy. That's for sure. Some nice details there on the uh, chest. A little bit, some pieces on there. Nice, nice sort of nice paint jobs on there. Nice and clean. And sort of bandolier around the waist. He's got some more ammunition and stuff like that. And around the boots. I really like that they've gone with the uh, blue for the gauntlets. I think that's a a nice look for him. Is tech typically like it's always been sort of a, a bit of a sort of a, a gunmetal grey silver silver sort of look. And yeah, that blaster's just wanting to slip out of his hand. That's all right. I'll leave that aside for now. Let's take a look at his hands. There's some people saying his fingers look a little bit sausagey. I can kind of see why people think that. Maybe you look a little bit too, a little bit big, but. Yeah, 
yeah, kind of got sausage fingers, a little bit. Not a big deal. I, I still think he looks great. The hat is awesome. You know, what's not to love about the hat? Which I think I'll put on backwards. There we go. That looks good. Be again, nice details on the uh, paintwork there. Like the sort of copper, copper cable coming down there. Good range of motion in the head. See if that will. Yeah, and that doesn't really restrict anything. Having having his thing sort of stuck on the back there, that kind of allows a bit of movement. It may sort of wear and tear if you if you do it a bit too much, but overall, I don't think that's a problem. Doesn't seem to be. So let's take a look at his articulation. We'll get rid of that hat for the moment. It's interestingly, the only sort of paint detail they missed is the uh, the plate that he has on his head, the Black Series 1. Got that extra detail. But maybe maybe it's not totally necessary on a figure of this size. We're gonna, and not everyone's gonna have his hat on anyway, so. Articulation, got a ball jointed head. It looks to be, no, no neck, no neck articulation, but just on the, on the ball joint and the top of the neck and the head. Uh, ball hinges in the shoulders, ball hinge in the elbows, ball hinges in the wrists. So sort of lower torso joint there, which is nice. Sort of barbell joint in the uh, crotchal region. Swivel thighs, swivel cut at the top of the thighs. Good hinge in the knees, which gives pretty pretty solid angle of articulation there and then the ankles with the rocker we're looking good nicely articulated figure he might be old but he's still got the uh, he's still got the moves it'd be cool if he uh, had his jet boots you'd get him you know, flying around like he used to back in the Clone Wars. Double gunslinger. I am going to persist with this blaster one more time and try and get it in there. <laughs> Once it's in there, it's okay, but I seem to have it sitting there pretty nicely this time. Let's take that other one out. So again, the holsters don't restrict any movement at all which wasn't which is really nice and there we got Cad Bane from the book of Boba Fett you think we'll see him again I don't think that was his last moment I think he's still still kicking after that everyone heard his little his little life support system still beeping I think we'll see Cad Bane again. I hope so, anyway. It was fantastic to see him in live action. I think it was really, really cool. Anyway, folks, love to hear your thoughts. Please send out down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Um, closing in on that 5,000 very, very quickly, which is exciting. Very, very exciting. But yeah, stay tuned. I've got... Uh, Boba Fett from Book of Boba Fett coming right up. So I'm looking forward to that one. Until the next video, may the force be with you always.